Okay, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for uh, coming today, and, and good morning, too, to our online audience. Uh, I'm Tom Mitchell. I head the Climate Change Program here at ODI. Uh, really delighted to be hosting uh, this session on the public and the private coming together for improved disaster risk reduction. Let me just say a couple of words of introduction before uh, moving on to introducing the panel. Um, the first is that this is actually the, f the, the, the first event in a series of events that we are planning over the next few months to give some consideration to rethinking the Hyogo Framework for Action. For those of you who don't know, the Hyogo Framework for Action is the international agreement uh, to reduce disaster risks. It was signed by 163 or so countries in 2005 and is up for renegotiation in 2015. Certainly, we're trying here at ODI and through uh, the Climate and Development Knowledge Network to give some fresh perspectives on what needs to be in that agreement. And we will do that through a set of events, through uh, uh, a, a, you know, engagement with uh, an online audiences, through blogs, um, and through some publications that will be coming out over the next few weeks. So just to say today, you know, thank you for those coming in the room. We do also have uh, people online, a great many more people online than in the room, I, I understand, uh, which probably reflects a little bit about the nature of this topic, a little bit specialised, but certainly one of interest uh, around the world. Um, during the session, we will be uh, taking questions, both from in the room and from the <coughs> online audience. So let me just introduce our, our speakers. Um, we're going to hear from two speakers, both of which have been involved in quite new pieces of uh, work on this topic, from Christina Becker-Burke from the uh, Meister Consulting Group, um, who's been working with CDKM to consider lessons from public-private collaborations around the world for disaster risk management, and then from Dan Dowling from uh, PwC, uh, who's been working on the title Resilience <laughs> in action, is this? No, 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 this is uh, and s stimulating private sector engagement investment in building resilience. Both of these pieces of work are actually tied a little bit together uh, in relation to the political champions for resilience group. And I'm delighted to have Nick Harvey here from DFID to uh, talk a little bit about how some of this work has been received and kind of positioned in a sense. Uh, and then also from John Firth from Acclimatize, also a, a group that's been uh, supported by CDKN in the past to do some work, but uh, also from a climatizer group that's got a, a long history of working with private sector organizations and, and giving consideration on how to get them to take risk seriously. So that's our kind of running order. Hopefully we can keep the presentations kind of short and sweet and leave us some time for discussion. Uh, it's, a, it's a short session today. We're going to run for um, just about an hour um, and then hopefully leave a little bit of time for mingling afterwards. Okay, so great. Without further ado, let me head on to Christina. Over to you. Thank 